Hello, Danny. Thank you for joining us today. Let's discuss Jinko Solar's recent performance and future plan. Can you provide us a brief recap of Jinko Solar's performance in the first half of 2024? 2024 is definitely the most challenging year for the whole industry, but thanks to the incredible work of Jinko Solar team, we top again in the first half of the year with module shipments of about 44 gigawatts, representing 46% increase compared to the last year, and 10 gigawatt more than the second one. Expanding our leadership, it's a tremendous achievement. I think we are far ahead of our competitors. Has Jinko Solar adjusted its full-year sales guidance after a strong results in the first half? And uh, even in face of if there is a global recession, we are expecting our deliveries this year to be about 100 to 110 gigawatts, 30 percent higher than the previous years. I think that the 30 percent uh, growth is pretty unusual, especially in this hard time. Yeah. Um, how did Jinko Solar perform in terms of uh, profitability in the last six months? Um, actually, it's not, e it's not easy to trade off between the larger volume with decent margins. Most of competitors suffered a great loss. Uh, some even um, lost up to 5 billion IMB in Q and Q2. But I'm optimistic about being profitable in the first half of the year and for all quarters going forward. Because we have the best uh, cost and our, to, our, to my knowledge that the, the efficiency and the yield rate of our top coin is higher than anyone else right now and they are improving. Because as I mentioned, we have delivered 100 gigawatts top coin sale and the modules. So it's fundamentally uh, important because we know exact what will do wrong, how we can fix, and where's the potential to improve. So at this point, I would say if we cannot sustain profitability, no one can do. Yeah. Um, we, we recently see a lot of news about um, the Saudi Arabia investment um, on a lot of medias. Can you please tell us about the new joint venture uh, factory uh, investment in Saudi Arabia? Um, one of the major priorities this quarter is we increase our overseas operations. We forge ahead with new joint venture factories in Saudi Arabia, partner with PIF, Public Investment Fund, and the VIC, Vision Industry Companies, uh, with a total investment of about 1 billion US dollars for production of 10 gigawatt top gun cell and the modules. The factory is located in Octagon, the southern industrial cluster in New City, in New City in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm very excited uh, to lower these uh, new investments because it's a milestone um, to shift from global sales to global production shift from exporting products towards exporting a technology experience, expertise, service, talents, or even corporate culture. Mm. So what are the unique um, aspects for the factory and why is it strategically important for Jinko Solar for this um, new factory? We changed the investment structure from wholly owned to joint venture. And uh, I think this joint venture factory mode is something that can scale up very rapidly. And through this model, uh, we synergize the strengths of both parties to win, get the win-win results. And through this model, what made us success in China can also make us success outside China. Um, for the future, for the second half, how does Jinko um, stay competitive, especially against team low pricing from competitors in the market? Uh, we continue to set the production and the sales records basically every month, and that's growing massively. And with talented and amazingly passionate team at Jink Solar, we continue to uh, set momentum on cost management and operational efficiency. 
regarding to the trade-off between volume and the margin, I think we'd, we'd rather to deliver less panels with healthy and reasonable margins. And you know that the margins are the lowest in the history across the whole supply chain. But it's not the case for Jinx Solar. Uh, we achieved the profitability in Q1 and Q2, and, for the and uh, we'll continue for the rest of the year. And uh, um, as I mentioned, that uh, we are expecting to increase sales by 30% this year, or more, perhaps more than 30%. I think 30% is a very reasonable uh, number of it's a crazy growth in the history. Thank you, Danny, for joining us today. And thank you for your time, for your sharing.